So I'm making this tutorial because some people were curious about this video and how I made the reflection. Hey Tom, are you almost? Sure am. Did you want to grab something to eat before the movie? A pizza sounds great. Wow. So in this, I used a background from Create Studio. Um, it was one of the rooms and I blew it up. Um, I'll have to look for that. Oh, it was one, it was um this one. So I didn't want the shelves, so I had just increased the size so that the shelves wouldn't show. There was a little bit of a challenge though because there was an angle to the wall, so I had to angle the mirror a little bit and that ended up being a little bit of a chore. So I'm going to show you a quicker and easier way and then you'll be able to make it your own. So what I did is I just put Maybe this I together. should take a new Instagram profile picture. So I don't have an exciting um, room background, but I wanted to make it really easy. So what I had done is I just went to stock and I put in wallpaper and then I just grabbed the first kind of neutral one that I saw. Um, it wasn't that far down. Oh, I remember it was a Instagram format. Not that it matters. Oh, there it is right there. So you can download one if you want to make this along with me. Pause it. Get your Create Studio open and grab a background, any background. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this mirror from inside Create Studio. As you can see, I went through a bunch of different versions for the video I had and I ended up with this one. But we can just go in, just put in mirror, and then I grabbed the easiest one that we could work with right now and just dragged and dropped it onto my canvas. Then what I did is I went up and I got a circle. And then I wasn't too worried about perfection, um, except I wouldn't want it like that, of course. I just wanted to make sure I'm covering all of the line. Because this is going to stay over, I'm reducing the opacity to check. Because this is going to stay over the mirror, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now, you could take this mirror, you could take this mirror and get rid of the background if you want. You could get other mirrors like I tried, but I wanted to keep it nice and simple for right now um, and not go, and I didn't even go to the extra hassle with mine either. I just put a shape over it. So I have this and this is going, so let me grab the background as well. And I'm just going to extend that. So I have my background. I'm going to name this background. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And I will tell you why. Um, background for the mirror. Because we need to have something in the background of the mirror. Now you might have a different view of a room. You might have the back of a room. I didn't get that fancy with it, but you certainly can do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a copy of this blue circle first. And I'm go going to name that mask. The reason I duplicated it now is I don't have to reformat it. It will be the same size and that will be, I won't have to do any resizing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the mask and the background mirror, hold down my shift key, select both, click and mask that. Now you don't see it yet because number one, that's in the way. And the other reason we don't see it is because we need to move it above the mirror. There we go. So now there's like a little bit of a background there. And I think I did some, um, no, I didn't do opacity. I think what I did is, I'm going to unmask it for a minute. I think what I did 
is, oh, I know what I did. <laughs> See, I have to remember. I duplicated this again, and I made this just a very, very, very light shade. So I'm on the gray one. I made this a very light shade of gray, just so it didn't look like it was the exact same. So what I did is I duplicated the mask. I'm going to use my mask again, hold my shift key, my background mirror, right click, mask it. And now you can see I have this little gray one on top of it. So it's not quite as bright. You could have a door in the background if that's what's gonna be behind them, whatever you want. And I still have this one, which is going to be character mask. All right, so what did we do? We grabbed the background, we brought it over. We duplicated that. We got the image of the mirror. We dragged it over, we got a circle. Then we, dupl uh, we masked the background for the mirror with the circle so that it would have something in the background of the mirror because it has to be reflecting something. So now we need to add our characters. And I actually had to practice a lot with this, so now I think I've got it. So I'm going to use the 3D Creator. And the reason I'm gonna do that is you can do 3D rotation. So that means we can do it. We can't do it with the other ones. I actually tried it about a year ago and it was harder. So I'm gonna put my um, actions in. You can add them after as well, but for the purposes here, we're gonna have idle. Then let's, we did, what did I do? I did a selfie. And then I did happy. So there we go. I'm just going to drag that out to the end of where I have my other elements. Then I'm going to duplicate that. And right now I'm going to click on that, hide it, because I don't want to see it right now. I'm going to lock it too. You can move it out of the way, but I want to make sure I'm keeping my actions the same because this one is going to be Lenka. I think I wrote mirror. She's the one that's going to be in the mirror. This other one is going to be on the top. So here we have her in the mirror. I'm gonna move her a little. I should have probably not unlocked this, but when I rotate it, it's going to change anyways. And to be able to make it so we can see the image in the mirror, I'm going to have to move the front one over to the right anyways, so that you can kind of see that there's an image and it's not standing right in front of her. So I'm gonna put her right there. You can always change it after. Now I'm going to lock the background one and unlock the front one. I'm gonna line her up, then I'm going to click rotate right here and I am just going to spin her around. And I always do that messy. I wanna move her to the right, but I need to click on rotate again. If I don't, when I try to move her, she's gonna keep rotating. So I'm gonna click on rotate and I'm gonna move her over here. And with my other one, yes, I need to flip her as well because if you notice, here's her right hand and here's her right hand. So we need to have her right hand over here. So I'm going to click on her, go to properties and flip. And now I need to continue to rotate her. I should have done that before, but I forgot. So now let's see how that looks. I'm gonna click on rotate again, move her a little bit. And now let's just see how that looks. All right.
that'll work. You might want to do a few um, adjustments, but even here you can see the ponytails moving at the same time, same place. Um, now, if I were to adjust this one a little longer, I clearly would have to also adjust the the one underneath. So when you make any adjustments, sometimes I think the best thing to do is to make the mirror image and then duplicate it and do the rotation. And that way you'll have everything the same. So now I'm gonna lock my front one. Just so I don't grab her because she is on the front. I'm gonna unlock my bottom one. What I also did is I went up here and I, and I made a voice using the AI. So let me, you can do that if you want. Let me just bring in the voice that I did. I need to move this a little. I'm going to, don't do that. I'm gonna add a track above. I'm going to bring the voice down for when she's idle. Now, and the reason I'm doing that is she has to be above the mirror image. The voice has to be above the mirror image because I'm going to sync this with mirror image. I don't need it for the front one because we don't see her mouth, but we need to have the voice right above the character that we want to lip sync. I'm going to select both of these and group. I use Command G. You can right click and create a group. Now let's see what happens. Maybe I should take a new Instagram profile. All right, so that looks okay, but we still see her full body. So now we need to use the mask that we had. We're going to select the back, Lenka, in the mirror, hold down my shift, Select the character mask, right click and mask. Now you don't see the bottom of her. Maybe I should take a new Instagram profile. I don't know why my vo the voice is cutting off right now, but I'm not gonna worry about it. But this actually is a little bit better than mine that I did because it's actually showing the um, mirror image of the high five part two. But that's all it takes to do it. I hope that helped. Maybe and I, I hope should take a new Instagram yours. profile.